One of my favorite websites to have a little bit of a nosy around is a website called App Annie. Now this website is very premium, it's very expensive if you want all the luxurious features and really it's just for kind of like mobile game developers to kind of spy on each other. Uh, but in terms of public information, there's stuff like download ranks and also grossing ranks available. And I found this very interesting, especially in my time playing Marvel Contest of Champions, uh, to see how the grossing ranks line up with like certain events and decisions that the developers make uh, to essentially see if making shitty decisions causes them to drop in the grossing ranks and people to spend less money. Uh, but Marvel Contest of Champions, they have some very interesting ways of playing it, especially when it comes to uh, certain events like July 4th and that. However, one thing that I've been keeping a very, very close eye on over the last month is kind of the grossing ranks of Marvel Strike Force, because from the start of July, there, there was an increasing amount of decisions in July, there were essentially just a, an increasing shaft to the free-to-play and general player population. And I wanted to see if those decisions, because they've been ramping up and up and up, there's a little bit, uh, you know, every single week there seems to be more stuff on top of it. This last week it's been the level 65 raids being complete bullshit. This morning as well, uh, we've had... Um, just unannounced changes to the, uh, the the blitz mode of gameplay. The cooldown it has now gone from two hours back up to six hours. I don't know if this is intended. I don't know if it isn't. Like developer communication with Fox is still like it's an all-time low, man. It's just absolutely appalling for kind of the state of the game and where they should be at the moment. We need significantly more communication from the developers on a public forum, and I want to see it. They've they've done they've stepped up a little bit over over Reddit last week. There were a few communication updates and those are really really nice but you you know we just need significantly more of it because there's still uh, so many changes and so much stuff that we want to see addressed uh, and especially I just haven't really seen uh, much talking about the level 65 raids and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that today however the general theme is that uh, personally I think and a lot of the community thinks especially on reddit if we were to look at that for an example uh, in my alliance as well that over the last month and a bit Fox have been making some shitty decisions and in terms of the grossing ranks this is actually very very accurately reflected as a downward spiral and for me as a player that wants to uh, play a mobile game where the developers are very passionate about making the best game possible for everybody and on top of that finding very very clever ways uh, to monetize the game and give players at the top decent value I think the strategy that Fox has been going over the last month uh, just doesn't seem to be working out too well for their their profit margins at least so um now if we have a look at the grossing chart in terms of you know the stuff that was going on there was a very very strong infinity war event to start off the game everybody pretty much got Thanos unlocked that was playing from launch if you were doing the raids uh and the Thanos raids initially were very very generous in terms of their Thanos orbs uh doing some pretty banging stuff there so you can see throughout May they were holding top 50 but then also moving into uh later May uh the Deadpool raids an event came out uh, super, super great event. The Deadpool raids were so much fun. They were so generous in terms of that. So a pretty sustained top 50. And then moving up toward the end of the month, uh, they climbed pretty high, man. They actually managed to get to a peak uh, of 26 and also 21 in terms of US games. And we're just looking at the grossing ranks here. Uh, so yeah, some really good stuff throughout kind of the Deadpool month there. And then we have toward the start of July where stuff is... Um, uh, dipping quite a bit. It looks like because uh, of patch days and server downtime, like on the days which the patch lands, you know, there's a bit of additional time where the game is down, so obviously that results in the store being closed for a little bit and it dropping even more in the US gaming charts. But then moving up, we are starting to see a lot of dips and not really too much recovery. You know, we just had the Ant-Man event and everybody wasn't, wasn't too chuffed initially about the setup of that. Uh, however, I didn't think the Ant-Man event was too bad. However, on Wednesday Wednesday, July 4th, we did have a bit of a boom there, and I think that was the day that the Mordo offer came out. Um so, just looking back for clarity, Sunday, this period, uh, on the Saturday, uh, toward the end of the day, was actually the date where the Mordo offer was released for the first time, and if you remember that one, it was like 8 Mordo orbs for something like 28 bucks, uh, but it was actually really, really good value, because it was a pre-release offer, and they just absolutely smashed it out, you can see they got the sales, they hit their all-time peak there, uh, so not too bad, not too bad at all, ladies and gentlemen, but again, moving deeper and deeper into July, and it was really around the time where we also had 
had the Gimp Thanos raids uh, kind of coming into the mix as well. You can just see a very, very downward trend of people kind of just getting sick of stuff in terms of like the average day spending. Like there are a few peaks up, I imagine, for kind of certain... Um, uh, big offers that came out for characters like Groot, uh, but really it's just not matching that level, and especially in terms of the top uh, mobile gaming development charts, uh, there is a big difference in terms of the higher you get, the bigger difference between games, because there's just so much money at the top, man, it's just absolutely ridiculous, but as you can see, I mean, this graph pretty much speaks for itself, it's a very, very downward trend, uh, especially toward the end of July, uh, and yeah, it's been uh, going up a little bit, but still very it looks like they're very struggling to keep in the top 50 there uh but i don't know i just feel like this is a, a relatively clear-cut example uh of just a downward trend being increasingly shitty towards your player base as a consumer, this makes me really, really happy to see, because I love Marvel Strike Force. I think it's an absolutely fantastic game, and I want it to do really, really well. However, what I don't like is a lot of decisions that have been screwing over players of every single tier, but generally kind of mid-tier players to newer players are really getting fucked, comparatively speaking. And there's still so much of a gap in the game. The gap is absolutely gaping. It's huge between myself and OXT, for example, as a day one beta player, our roster is just completely incomparable. Like his his total power index is almost double mine as well. He's just absolutely sorted, mate. Absolutely maxed out. And I feel like there is still so much room uh, for milk in the whales, but they really need to find a better balance between um, uh, kind of the average player and the free to play player and the big old blubbery whales in Marvel Strike Force. And at the moment, I just I just don't know what they're doing in terms of a lot of their decisions. And it worries me a little bit, but hopefully if the, the CEOs of Fox Next, the big wigs up there, are looking at their profits for last month and going, oh, okay, well, this is absolute dog shit. It's going proper down the can, lads. What are we doing wrong? Like the first couple of months have been like pretty damn good to our players. They're working out quite well. We were, we were peaking, we were getting some good spikes, we've thrown out some decent offers. Like, what's going wrong now that we've decided to, to fuck over the players, like, every week with a, a few new stuff? And also this, this whole Nick Fury thing, being a five-star unlock with all Kree minions, is just complete horseshit as well. So yeah, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really hope they can rein it back. I hope they're learning some valuable lessons, uh, and yeah, this, this uh, chart gives me, it gives me a little bit of faith, man. It gives me me a little bit of faith that uh, their decisions have been impacting them exactly where it hurts and hopefully they're going to wake up, smell the roses, find a good balance, make the best possible game for everybody, but find very, very clever ways uh, to, you know, get people to purchase characters and, you know, make the whales spend, man, because the whales are very, very happy to spend as much as they can to get an advantage, but at the same time, if you kill the game for everybody else and nobody else wants to play because it just seems like a completely unfeasible grind, then everybody's just going to be like, fuck this shit, and then you just don't have anybody left playing the game, and that's that's how it works. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this little, uh, this little salty round video, but maybe with a, a bit of a glimmer of hope mixed in there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.